please like and subscribe and comment. I'm so excited to see what you say, want to say. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog. I don't know if you can tell but I'm definitely, I don't know, getting some sort of <coughs> cough. I have tested, it is not COVID. My throat is absolutely killing me and I feel like I've just been going out and about way too much, just having too much fun in Korea so that is why my voice sounds lower probably. I mean, I don't know if you can tell but I can definitely hear it in myself. But anyways, welcome to my vlog. I haven't filmed for a week. I've just been actually enjoying myself. Sometimes I feel like it's nice to step away from the camera. And also not all of my friends that I meet are comfortable being on camera as well. And so I don't want to be like shoving it in their faces and being like, I'm vlogging. So I've just been, you know, taking a step back and making sure that everyone else is comfortable as well. Yeah, it's already been over a week since I've been here and I'm definitely feeling a lot more settled. I will always talk about the good and the bad things. So. Some bad things are actually today's weather. Definitely it's British weather today, which is a bit of a shame, but it's been really good so far. Actually, I'm kind of glad it's raining because it tends to kind of cool the weather down a lot. So that's good and bad. And some good things are obviously, I've just been enjoying going to the stationery stores and having really good food and seeing all of my friends. But one thing I've definitely noticed about myself is feeling the pressure of the beauty standards here, being told by family members or certain friends, not in a bad way at all, but like, oh yeah, you've definitely gained weight since last time. In Korea, that just seems to be like a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely feel the pressure and I don't, I can't put my finger on it. I can't exactly say exactly how I feel a certain way, but I definitely feel the need to up my game in terms of the way that I look and in terms of the way that I dress. Yeah, that's been a little bit interesting to feel because I'm really glad that I didn't have my teenage years in Korea because guaranteed, hands down, if I had lived in Korea from like 14 to 24, I would 100% have had plastic surgery in that time. So I'm really glad that I never did. I'm glad that it's not something that I've done. I mean, I think, you know, anyone else can do whatever they want, but I'm just glad that I didn't sort of conform to those pressures because people would literally say to me like you need to get this done you need to get that done blah blah and for a long time I would just be like crying on the phone to my mom being like I want to have plastic surgery I want to have bigger eyes I want to have this blah blah but now I don't feel that I can actually just take a step back and be like hmm is that something that I would really want and I can question myself but I definitely do feel the pressure here because all the girls here are like dressed super well they're all super skinny and anyone you meet kind of like doesn't I'll write comment on the way that you look but will tell you certain things and it's never in like a bad way, you know, that's why you can never put your finger on it but it definitely is present, it's definitely here, that pressure is definitely around. So I'm trying to navigate that as well, so that's one bad thing but in the grand scheme of things I've been feeling great so yeah I've been really enjoying myself and I just want to say welcome to another day of me being in Korea. Oh, one more thing I also want to talk about is the fact that like I'm so lucky and privileged and glad that I get to step away from work for two months because for the three years being like knee deep in the COVID pandemic, all I could think about was hospital work and patients and work and patients and home and on call and things like that. But for the first time, I definitely feel like I've stepped away from that completely and I've remembered that there's more to me than just being a pharmacist because for a while that's all I could think of myself as and that's all I identified myself as but coming to Korea has made me realize like I'm a sister, I'm an auntie, I'm a friend, I'm a Korean and I'm definitely finding myself again so yeah. Today's plan is just to go to my sister's house. As I've told you it's raining outside so I might need to rethink what I'm gonna wear but yep, yeah, and then afterwards, as usual, for dinner, I am going to a restaurant to see my friends. Um, yeah, I would like to say that the British rain has definitely followed me into Korea, but it is pouring down the rain right now. And uh, I'm dragging my sister to a cafe. So you were saying it's really popular, right? Yeah, so, at, like the busy times, lunchtime and after dinner, People like lying outside. 
So, you know, this morning I was talking about like, I definitely feel like, I can't put my finger on it, and this is what I said in my vlog this morning, but I definitely do feel the pressure to fit in. Like wear similar stuff as other, other yeah, Korean people, and also it's a very sort of self 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 maintenance self maintenance kind of culture, isn't it? Like a lot of the girls here like maintain themselves to like a very high standard of beauty. They all like get their hair done. They all go to like a skin clinic. They all have super high end makeup. They all wear really nice clothes. So when you're surrounded by that, I feel like it's really difficult to. But that's just me coming here for like two months, one month. Like when you are constantly living here, do you feel the same? I think the, I'm the wrong person to ask because obviously I grew up in a country that didn't really care. Yeah. So when I came here, I definitely felt it, but I was really hyper aware of myself feeling it. So I went the opposite direction, where it's like, why should I care? Like I'm trying to be like more like go against it even like further than I should. So I think at the beginning it was like that and then now. So you basically try to go against the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like completely the opposite, like rather than completely conforming and just went, right, I'm just going completely against yeah. it. And then just didn't do it. Like so I didn't really wear makeup. And I didn't really wear like cute, like pretty dresses. Like I was never like that girl. Now, because I'm older, you just care less in general because <laughs> And then you have a baby, are, so you're, you're like, oh. yeah. So you have to be prepared But I do see like young girls, well, like ladies, women. Um, I'm I'm sort of like I feel a bit, I like feel a bit bad for them because like I guess a lot of pressure. Yeah, and I was saying as well, like if I hadn't been brought up in England. I 100% would have been one of those girls who had plastic surgery, would have, you know, been really yeah, upset yeah, yeah. with the way that I look and all that stuff. But because we've had that different upbringing, like we do get yeah, to see the other side of it as well. Yeah. I feel like I grew up in a healthier environment. As a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a woman. Yeah, yeah. It was just like as as a body, body positivity as far as body, body positivity goes. Yeah. I think I we grew up in a place that's less pressure. But then again, in England, I feel like we were we were never going to reach the, the top beauty standard anyway. Yeah, and also we were already different. Yeah, because we're like Asian. So I think, like, in in so I think yeah. even if I was like white and I grew up in England and I came to Korea, it would be another different thing. Yeah. But I grew up in England where like the beauty standard was not me. Yeah. So I, and I could never reach that beauty standard. So you gave up on it. I agree, I agree. And I came here and I was like, well, I, don't, well, I never tried there. Well, I feel so like I didn't try it. That's here. exactly why I felt worse coming here. Because <laughs> in England, it was like, what's the point in trying? <laughs> Whereas here, it was like, oh no, like, I actually need to try it, but I'm not reaching it. So, yeah. It's just harder, I think, here, because everyone looks like me. So, why don't I look like them? <laughs> <laughs> Maria, is taking some nice pictures of me. And the ring. What a dedicated sister, hey? I'm basically forcing my sister to give me jam on my spawn so she's just paid some extra money just to get me some jam. So we have a vanilla latte, a decaf latte and a scone with jam. It is still pouring down with rain and we are now making our way to a Vietnamese restaurant and we're going to have some pho today which I'm super excited for. I have not had pho since being in Korea. So my sister's just read on my makeup and I like it a whole lot more than the way I do it. It's about 5pm now and I am about to go and see one of my friends and it's still pouring down with rain outside. So yeah, let's see how that goes. So I've just come to a Japanese restaurant and we're having this. We have come to a cookie cafe and just gonna get some hot drinks. 
So I am back home now and I'm gonna pack tonight because I'm temporarily leaving this place and going to Bazan, which is where my mum lives at the moment. So I am going to pack up and get ready for tomorrow. I don't know when my next vlog will be. I'm not gonna promise it daily, but I'll do my best and I'll see you in the next vlog.